so today now let us discuss what are ip addresses and what are the various classes in ip addresses and then what is the classless interdomain routing and so on okay see you already know what is an ip address ip address is used to give an address to a system which is connected to internet ip address is also called as internet protocol address right so this ip address was designed to give an unique address to every device which is connected to the internet and initially when they designed the ip address that was in 1970s and 1980s then in case in, in that time we, we were having the ip addresses di, uh, no uh, divided into two categories one is net id and second one was the host id and the net id is used for network id and host id is used for the host id which is connected to that particular network so that time the net id was of 8 bits and host id was of 32 bits so uh, host id was of 24 bits so it we have two types of ips ip addresses which we are going to study number one is ipv4 and uh, second one is ipv6 ipv4 is the internet protocol version 4 and second one is the inter internet protocol version 6 which we which is for the future right so already some systems are implementing ipv6 but ipv4 was the ip addresses which we were using till now so in case of ipv4 the ip address was of two uh, was of, was of 32 bits so we were studying ipv4 internet protocol version 4 and now we have ipv6 that is internet protocol version 6 in case of ipv4 every ip address is of 32 bits an ip address is of 32 bits and in case of ipv6 an ip address will be of 128 bits 128 bits so when the designers first designed the internet they thought that internet is going to be used only for the military purposes and for the universities to sending to, to communicate with each other therefore they thought that we will not be having a lot of networks will be having very small number of networks because you already know what is an internet internet is a interconnection of various networks so they thought that we are going to use only a limited number of networks that is why 8 bit for the ip uh, for network id is enough what they did is initially in 1970s and 1980s if this is a complete ip address they created the first 8 bit of this ip address for network id and next 24 bit of the ip address for host id for host id 8 bit for network id 24 bits for host id and slowly they realized that the number of networks which we are representing using this is not enough because if you have only you are having only 8 bits for the network id that means you can only represent 256 combination with the 8 bits okay let me revise that again for you because uh, we need a lot of you know we are extensively going to use the binary numbers in case of ip addresses we are extensively going to use the powers uh, that is 2 power 6 2 power 8 2 power 10 and so on so it will it will be better for you to understand or you can say it, it will be better if you remember the powers of these ip addresses right for example if we have 2 power 10 then 2 power 10 is 1024 if i am i'm saying 2 power 6 2 power 6 is 64 and so on right so it is it will be better for us if you remember all these things okay let me do one thing let me write that again before i start the ip addresses it is important that you should know how to convert a decimal number to a binary number and how to convert a binary number to a decimal number so that we can use the dotted decimal de representation for ip addresses okay so we, we will be starting with that so as of now you just understand that in case of 1970s and 1980s in 1970s and 1980s the internet the computer networks the internet designers they thought that the internet is not going to be used for uh, by a lot of people they, it is it is only going to be used by limited number of people that is uh, the military networks or the university networks so they thought that only uh, if we only use 8 bit in for 8 bit for representing the net, net id net id means the network id uh, network id is the id of a network id of a network means for example if you have 10 networks then can you identify each network uniquely can you identify each network uniquely and for identifying that network we are going to use the network id so the, the thought that only 8 bit of information is enough to represent the network id because with 8 bits we can represent 2 raised to power 8 combinations which is approximately 256 so we are going to have at maximum 256 networks 
In every network, we can connect two rest about 24 hosts. That, that's what they thought. Then later on, they, they found that this is not good enough. The internet is growing so rapidly that they have to change the complete structure to make it as classful IP addressing. And nowadays, we are not even not using classful IP addresses, IP addressing. We are using classless IP addressing, which we will be studying at later point of time. But for now, let us do one thing. Let us start with the binary numbers and the powers of two. And then we'll see what are the different classes of IP addresses. Okay. So uh, for that, initially, let us let me, let me start with the powers of two. That is, I think that will be a better option. If I do two power 10, that means 1024. See, if you know this part, I, I, here I'm going to discuss the binary numbers only. That is, how can you convert a binary number to a decimal number? How can you convert a decimal number to a binary number? I'm just going to discuss this one. If this, you, you already know this, then you can skip this video and you can continue with the second video. Okay. So, uh, 2 power 10 is 1024. 2 power 11 is 2048. 2 power 12 is 4096. 2 power 9 is 512, 2 power 8 is 256, 2 power 7 is 128, 2 power 6 is 64, 2 power 5 is 32, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 3 is 8, 2 power 2 is 4. Okay. Now secondly, how can you convert a binary number to a decimal number? For example, if I have a binary number like this, 1101101. So how many bits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is a binary number with the base 2. And you want to convert this binary number to a decimal number that is with the base 10. Now to convert this, you have to multiply each bit with the powers of 2. For example, the first bit will be multiplied by 2 raised to power 0. The second bit will be multiplied by 2 raised to power 1. The third bit will be multiplied by 2 raised to power 2. The fourth bit will be multiplied by 2 raised to power 3. The fifth bit will be multiplied by 2 raised to power 4. This is 2 raised to power 5. This is 2 raised to power 6. And this is 2 raised to power 7. So if you multiply n number by 0, then that number will be, remain, uh, will be remaining as 0. So here, the first one is 2 raised to power 7, that is 1 into 2 raised to power 7 is 2 raised to power 7, plus 2 raised to power 6, plus this one is 2 raised to power 4, plus this one is 2 raised to power 3, plus 2 raised to power 2, plus 2 raised to power 0. And 2 raised to power 7 is representing 128 plus 64, plus 16, plus 8, plus 4, plus 1. And this 128 plus 64 is 192. 16 plus 4 is 20, 20 plus 8 is 28, 28 plus 1 is 29. So we are going to add 192 with 29. So 192 plus 29, so it is 1, and this one is uh, 12, 1, 2, 21. So this number is representing 221 decimal. 221. Right. Okay. I think, uh, I hope this is easy. So this is how you can convert a binary number to a decimal number. Now, can you convert a decimal number to a binary number? So, what is the easiest method? Let us take the same number and let us try to convert this number to a decimal number. The number is 221. The easiest way is divide this number by 2 and write the remainders. So, if you divide this 221 by 2, so the number you are going to get is, uh, this is 1, 1 and 0 and the remainder you are going to get is 1. Divide 110 by 2, so you will get 55, remainder you are going to get 0. Here the remainder was 1, here the remainder is 0. If you divide 55 by 2, then the number you are going to get is 27 and the remainder is 1. Again divide by 2, then the number you are going to get is 18, you are going to get remainder as 1. 
right so it's not 18 actually it's just this one is uh, 26 26 is 13 and the remainder is 1 if you divide 13 by 2 so you are going to get 6 remainder is 1 divide 6 by 2 you are going to get 3 remainder is 1 divide 3 by 2 you are going to get 1 remainder is 1 right so if, if you divide 6 by 2 so it will be 0 so you can write it like this so this one this complete is representing 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 and last one and this is base 2 so if you check this number uh, this number both numbers should be same right this is how you can convert a decimal number to a binary number i hope this is clear and i hope this is easy so now let us look at what are the different types of ip addresses we will start with the classful ip addressing that means the complete ip addresses are divided into class class a class b class c and class d okay fine 